My man, good to see you again. Good to see you too. I'm sorry, before the cameras are rolling, you were just saying? Uh, that the Houston Astros beat the Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> you know what, I mean, and, it's, and it is my team. I'm, a, I'm originally from Georgia, so uh, you know, I'm a tomahawk chop, chopping baseball hop and ain't no stopping Atlanta Braves fan. But okay. you know, it's my city. LA is my city and LA is the uh, Dodgers, that's my son's team. And, uh, and so is my team. And uh, I was happy for your city after everything that you guys have gone through this year. But um, you know, there, there was there were some teachers dealing with a lot of cheer, a lot of tears at my kid's school, man, in the first grade. <laughs> you know that, that you never... guys had my kid in therapy. That, Thank I'm you. Sorry about that, but it never gets old to hear that. That's why I walked in when you when you when you mentioned that. I want to say something about you that I that I didn't bring up. Say it at hateful eight. Say it. And I just rewatched this movie. I'm not even kidding. One of my favorite movies of all time is The Apostle. Oh, hey, man. You know what? I really appreciate you saying that. I love that film. Thanks, man. Thank and you. And I didn't get to mention it last time we talked. And uh, You know, I, I, was, uh, I was 24 years old when uh, I did that movie. And uh, it was back before cell phones. Uh, but people did have answering machines. And when I got that job, I got a message from Robert Duvall on my home phone. And uh, I kept, you know, it was a little bit of tapes, a little bit of small tapes. And I kept that tape with me for about 15 years. And I lost it in this last move when uh, we moved into this uh, our new home, and uh, and it broke my heart. But that movie changed my life, and and he changed my life. And there were lines around the block in Texas. So thank you, Houston. What was he like to work with? I know we need to talk about Tomb Raider, but I'm just. I honestly... mean, well, this is talking about Tomb Raider, right? We get Tomb Raider. Tomb okay. Raider's coming to Houston. <laughs> right, it is. But is he just? I mean, you know, he's everything that you would want him to be. I mean, I think that's what you look for, or that what you hope uh, your icons kind of kind of are. And uh, he was gracious and uh, uh, beyond gracious, and, and took me under his wing, and and really gave me gave of himself to me. And uh, I still consider whenever I see him. Um, him to be like a father figure, you know. Have him call your voicemail. <laughs> you right? Gonna, yeah. Come we on. don't have tapes. Those little yeah, tapes I won't lose it this time. It's digital it. until the apocalypse happens. Hey, is it fun playing the villain? Because you are just you're a great you're a great bad guy in this movie. Thanks, man. Thank you very much. I, you know, I don't look at it that way. I mean, is it, is it fun to play the villain? It's it's fun to play people that have an opportunity to that are complex that have uh, at least an opportunity or a chance to evolve over time, that um, are, are rooted in a, um, in a in a real reality before you meet them on screen. And um, and, and, and I would say after you, you see them on screen, but most of the people that I've played die. <laughs> so yeah, but, but the answer to your question, I suppose is, I, I don't know. I, I, you know, I fancy myself hopefully a complex a person. I'm not. I'm not good at superfluous conversation. So, um, you know, I, I do. I, I like. I like complex people. I but like. Really, I have complex friends. So you really embrace this role. I mean, you're just so credible, and your character is is. It's a tough guy to play. I would imagine. Was it was it an adrenaline rush to play this character? Well, you know, it was an adrenaline rush. Uh, you know, I, I don't know the answer to that question. I think uh, being a part of this franchise the Tomb Raider franchise on paper before you really kind of settled into what this experience might really become, yeah, that was a rush, you know. Uh, whenever you kind of read these action sequences and you and you think about yourself as a person in the world actually being in South Africa and uh, and, and being inside of a tomb and looking the way that you look, that is, that you can't help but be a little boy, you know, or a little girl and, and just, oh my God, like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm gonna be walking through these these caves and we're gonna discover this this tomb of this person, Hamiko. You know, that that's really exciting but then you you have to put all that in the back of your head and then just just move on and tell the story one step at a time. 